Do you want to know how to use your Xbox 360 controller with Minecraft PC? If so, watch this video and you'll find out. Now I've already posted a video similar to this, but it was kind of like an alpha, I guess you could say. I didn't have all the controls completely 100% accurate, I guess you could say, like the sensitivity for the mouse and stuff. But today I'm going to try to use your Xbox 360 controller. Um, in this case, mine's wired, but wireless will work, but you need an adapter. I don't have an adapter, so I'm using wired. Just plug it up to your computer. No drivers needed to be installed. Um, if you're using Microsoft, um, now I'm using Windows 7. Some people had trouble with Windows 8, so if it doesn't work for Windows 8, uh, that's probably why. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. Just download XPatter and uh, yeah, <laughs> just download XPatter, then you're good to go. Now, whenever you download XPatter, it'll either look like this or it'll look like this. Um, either way, this is what you want it to look like. But if it looks like this when you load it up, click on the controller and click new. Now what you want to do is open up and it should bring you automatically to this play page. You just need to find wherever your controller images are. So um, mine is the Xbox 360 controller and that is this one right here. And I go ahead and click on this left hand margin where sticks is and click enable. It's going to tell you left and right. Or I meant left and up. And then uh, you drag it to where you use. That's all this controller is for is a layout. See I could put this over here but it, uh, it just it's just to keep everything laid out to where you know what button does which. Now you can't click down yet. That will not work yet. That is considered as a button. So uh, I'll show you how to get those working in a second. So I just did my left stick. Now you got to do the D-pad. And you just do all this and follow the steps. I mean it's real easy. And now on the buttons you go ahead and push this down. And then drag it to where it needs to be. And push this one down too. And it don't matter what particular order you do it in, just go ahead and start hitting buttons. Now the Xbox Live button does not work. I do not know why. Um, maybe, actually I don't, I, I couldn't tell you an explana explanation. It's kind of retarded that it doesn't work, because I would, I don't know. I, I just, it's a button, it's there, it should recognize it, but it doesn't, so. It's kind of, kind of stupid. Oh well. <laughs> Go ahead and do your triggers. I just what the heck? Uh oh. Uh oh. Um, it shouldn't move your mouse. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why mine is moving. But once you got all your buttons working, you can go ahead and go through them and make sure that they work. I'm not gonna go through them on this because I have it set up. Uh, I already have this preset from Minecraft. But it should look like this once you get done setting it up. So now I'm gonna go to settings and test all my buttons make sure I got them all right okay now I got them all right so once you get done it'll be blank like this and as you notice everywhere you so let's go ahead and get started for the minecraft configuration and the first thing we're going to do is the the triggers so we're going to click on this trigger and we're going to do that as the second click and we need to tweak that a little bit because the um it's, you can't you just can't rapid fire and start placing blocks so we're gonna go to turbo and we're gonna change that to uh, it's 3.5 3.5 per second and then we're just gonna exit out of that so now oh it didn't do it so we're gonna advance turbo oh okay, you gotta click enable my bad guys make sure you click enable and then we're gonna do on the right trigger we're gonna do the first click click on it again do advance and then turbo and enable that and do 3.5 a second and then now we can go ahead and do the uh, this is based off the Xbox version too the uh, whenever you're doing this and it goes through the inventory so this will be scroll up and this one will be scroll down this is going to be the uh, WSAD so we're going to hit that wrench and do WSAD this is going to be crouch so you click on shift yeah that's shift and uh, you're gonna right click on it and click toggle so you can toggle that and this is gonna be the mouse so you're gonna click mouse normal and we're gonna need to toggle that to I mean, uh, tweak that too so we're gonna click move together and this is your sensitivity right here um, now what happens if you don't click move together is if I have this all the way up here is that it's gonna go faster one way than it is the other so make sure you have it on move together and then I found about 90 percent to work uh, that's 91 that's fine whatever <laughs> it's a little hard doing that um, this is the pause button so that's going to be escape 
this is well I'll ask to see how many people there is online and this one would be to open up the inventory this one would be to jump and this would be to throw out a block and well this one I have it set as to where you can uh, select the, bl the block that's in front of you and uh, it'll copy it into your inventory which would be the, the middle click and well this one would be F5 to be able to see yourself and I have this one toggled right now as full screen mode on and off and that's really all you gotta do so now let's go ahead and jump into minecraft and see how it all works okay so now we are in minecraft and uh, we can go ahead and use our controller oh we gotta click on now we can go ahead and use our controller and uh, let's go ahead and select a world and start playing now I kinda this is that I did my all my testing on so it's gonna look a little like it's all messed up oh I didn't save it oh thank god you should have seen it it was it was horrible um I just forgot something and that is running and I'm going to show you how to fix that well um, you can delete blocks uh, pretty fast so I mean that's as fast as I'd be deleting a block on a uh, Xbox controller anyway and uh, same thing as uh, placing one you can throw out blocks and select the Y and place and let's try out which one is it oh yeah scrolling up and down the inventory uh, selecting another block uh, going into the inventory ooh that's a little sensitivity might get used to that yep oh and also if you wanted to select like 64 items you'd hold down the click and hit Y so that's all you gotta do I mean not hold down the click and hit Y you just gotta let me place this somewhere you get a uh, you hit it once you click on it, hit it again. That way you're not crouching when you get out. Oh, and I just threw it out. Oh, well. Crouch works. Seeing yourself works. Uh, and that is my character. Yeah. <laughs> you're holding grass. You look, look like a meth head. <laughs> Yee. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I'm going, going to go ahead and show you how to run. So let's go ahead and go back, and I'm going to show you how to run. Okay, so now we're back here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to run. So uh, you want to click on W, click Advance, and then you want to click this blank spot right here. You want to click Add Distance Zone. So on the distance, we're going to put 95%. So there's 90, there's a 5. Add Distance Zone. You want to do Control on your keyboard and W. And then just hit OK. And uh, what that does is once you push this past 95%, it'll be Control W. And then you will start running. Anyway, anyway guys I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and I hope you enjoy it and uh, I got some pretty cool uh, got some pretty cool more videos with this uh, X pattern stuff I, I was messing around with it and I'm gonna show you how to uh, enable game mode 1 and 0 just by uh, hitting it and then holding it down and then time set day time set night just hitting it then holding it down which is kind of like uh, uh, swapping it and stuff and then uh, if you got any more ideas, then I'll see what I can do. And because you know you can hit this and it'll set it. Now watch, I'll hit. You can right click on this, and you could click select selector. And uh, you click two way. You hit it. It goes to my mode one. Hit it. It goes to my mode two. See uh, down here on the screen right here. So, and uh, so I could. Do you just give me an idea and I'll see what I can do? If I can't, well. I can't. Hey, I tried. But anyway, guys, I hope this video was uh, helpful. And anyways, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.